Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. If you follow me for a while, you know that there's a lot of things in my channel that I share with you. I feel like there's a lot of uh, stuff in my life that just doesn't tie into just one subject. So you might see a lot of different videos on my channel that don't really make sense with each other. Like I do a lot of camera reviews, um, beauty videos, hair videos, and now candle making. And I just feel like I don't know, I've never been able to just narrow down one niche to my channel and that's just not who I am. I feel like there's a lot of facets or faces or facets, I don't really, um, to me and who I am and what I like. So right now I am building my can uh, concrete candle company and I'm making the concrete molds um, and the concrete jars. So I wanted you guys to come with me along in this journey and I think it's something super interesting that I am learning and you guys can like see the process of how everything comes together because I'm having so much fun making these um, this jars. I'm waiting for my big supplier order with um, the rest of the um, soy wax and a couple of things that I order in order to make the candles. So I haven't started on that yet. I kind of want to make it all together and as orders come in, but I want to have all the concrete jars sealed. And um, if you guys saw my last video, it's kind of like a whole week process where you make the concrete jars. You have to wait for them to kind of sit for a couple of days and then you go ahead and seal them and have to wait three or four more days after that. So I'm making as many as I can and kind of storing them. Um, back there because I live in a very small apartment. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. I already did my first pour. And I'm gonna show you guys what I did just because I woke up super early and I was like, I have to get this out of the way. Um, there's some other things that I have to do today, like work on my website and also um, around nine o'clock, I have to actually start working on my full-time job. So the snippets that I show you guys are either on my weekends or before and during my lunch break because I don't have much time, but it's great because I did my first four and I have to wait four hours now to on moldies. So I'll be like, you know, eating lunch or whatever by that time, put in a new, a new uh, four and then go back to work. So that's what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. There's not much like, I don't know. It's just kind of you guys sitting along with me and uh, just seeing what I do in a day kind of thing. I hope you enjoy it. These are my hexagons molds and I got the four of them yesterday just because I was having trouble getting like the same color onto the four of them. Previously to this, I had just one. So these are the ones that I molded last night. I have them sitting here. I love them. I put like this little um, gold like accents to it and I love how it came out. I put way more than this on the mold, but only this transferred, but I still think that's very cute. And then these have like a little metallic paint, um, gold metallic paint, paint, but not all of them do. So I, th I still think that they go great as a set of four and I'm super excited to see what color they turn into. Um, it's going to stay very much like this, but it might go a little bit lighter as the day goes on. So. Um, I also have one of the small jewelry boxes. If you haven't seen my Instagram video or my Instagram post, um, this is called Jared de Mar and it's going to be one of my favorite pieces probably. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like later on the ones that I already completed. Um, and this is just a extra that I had. So I just made a hexagon um, because I was pouring this and I made a little too much. But this planter is going to be a little bit more yellow. I put a little bit of that... Um, gold uh, shimmer and then I also put metallic paint as well so we'll see how that one turns out and that is just all that I poured this morning I didn't do much more than that just because um, I don't know what color I want to make the next one and I'm also looking for a name for this one I'm between a couple of names but I just uh, haven't decided so all right, you guys, so these are the ones that I made in the last couple of days, and I am so in love with them. I honestly say every five minutes, like, this is my favorite, but I honestly just don't have a favorite. I think the plants are on the back. Once I put the candles in them, oh my gosh, they're going to look so beautiful. And this one right here is Jored de Mar. Um, this is a small jewelry box, and you say that, like, J-O-O -O, um, is spelled double L-O-R-E-T, um, but you say it like a J-O-O -O sound. Um, Joret Nemar, and it's so beautiful. I honestly love it. I made another one a little bit lighter, but this one shipped a little. But honestly, things like this don't really bother me. I feel like they give it such a personal um, touch to it, and like, I don't know, it just, it's so beautiful. It doesn't feel like you bought it like a Marshalls or anything like that, and I just feel like it gives it a little bit more character. Inside, it's really beautiful. It has a little bit of touch of gold. Um, when I say touch of gold, I feel like it just doesn't do it justice when I show it in the camera but it is just stunning in person. 
it's just really, really nice. Um, and then I have the ones back there. I still haven't named these. And then I have just the normal cylinders uh, for my candles. I also have some hexagons and that little uh, jewelry tray that I have on the back. But I love how they turned out. I think the colors that I picked are so nice and like go with everything that I envisioned for the brand. And I just, I'm really excited. Okay, so I just got two new molds in and this one is probably one of my favorites. I've been waiting for this one to get here for so long. This is like a tray and it can fit two of my candles or even the um, bigger candle base, uh, the planter. I'm pretty sure it fits it. Um, I'm gonna test it out once I make it, but I also wanted like a smaller version of the cylinder candle um, because this one is eight ounces and I wanted to do something like a six ounce, but I wanted to have the same shape of it. This one is a little bit more uh, curved on the inside, as you can see, this one's like very, um, I don't know what the word for that is, but it just cuts like straight down. And this one has a little bit of a curve inside, which I think is super pretty, but it's smaller and it's cuter. And I'm gonna make, um, Right now I'm making one of these and I think I have enough to make the two of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I put a little bit of foil, gold foil in it and uh, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of metallic paint more so than I do with other pieces because I want this one to be very decorative. Um, but yeah, that's what we're making. I'm gonna put my mask right here. I got a new mask and this one's pink, so I'm in love with it. So I usually tap, tap, tap for about a minute after I pour it in. Um, and I just, I was just tapping underneath the table right now because this one is very like long. So it's hard to like lift it up um, on the sides and get the middle to be lifted up um, without getting like all the concrete out of there, obviously. So I was just doing it on the sides and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, this one looks super cute. I can't wait to see what they look like, but now I'm just gonna let them sit here for about three to four hours and then see what we created. So this one is uh, the one that we made this morning and this is how it's looking. I think the color is gonna turn out pretty great. I think I still have like about an hour before I can take this one out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna, I just took like a little bit of break for um, working and I just made these two and now I'm gonna go back to it, so. Baby, so Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. I just got this Amazon package delivered and I'm pretty sure it is the bowls that I ordered, the silicone bowls. So I'm just gonna open it up. I wanted to do it on camera so you guys can see what they look like. Hopefully they make the whole process easier. Yep, it is some. So it's actually smaller than I thought it would be, but I think it's still a good size. It's actually perfect because I didn't want it to be too big. And it brings three bowls in there. I forgot how much it costs, but I'm gonna have it linked down below. But the reason I got this is because I'm making bigger stuff like this planter and it takes about two full cups of concrete. And I just um, had a lot of trouble like mixing the concrete all at the same time with that much um, with that much of it. And it was just splattering everywhere. So these are them. And it's also, also easier to clean, I guess. And I'm not like wasting plastic over and over. So I'm excited, I can use the small ones. I can use the small ones when I'm doing like smaller pieces and I can use probably the medium ones um, 
for, oh my gosh, they're so cold because it's like minus 20 degrees outside, but um, I can use like definitely the three sizes. This one for the bigger planters, this one for my cylinders, and then the small ones um, for smaller pieces. So I'm very excited. I think these work very well. They're very easy. I can tell that when they dry, I'm going to be able to just crack the concrete and kind of uh, throw it out, which is what I do. I don't drain this or anything. I don't want, like I wash it after I've taken everything out. Now I'm seeing how much uh, this weighs as far as shipping. And it looks like it's about um, two pounds and one ounces or two pounds and almost two ounces. Um, so that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be way worse than that, but obviously this doesn't have like the candle in there yet. Um, so I just wanted to see how much this one was. Not bad, not bad. Almost all of them are under a pound, which I thought was not going to be the case because, you know, I'm working with like concrete and it tends to be very heavy. Obviously you have to ask, you have to add all the packaging and everything to the shipping of the boxes. But this is something that I would think like somebody wants to use to either lay the candles on top or maybe like put their keys in or have like in the bathroom, um, like as an accessory holder type of thing. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm definitely gonna seal the whole thing. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I thought it was like broken, but it was just the paint. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this, uh, this paint just does not do well with the concrete, it kind of just doesn't mesh well. And I love the texture of this, but there are some little holes that it creates. And it's been happening to me every time I use that metallic paint. I don't know what it is about it, um, but I really like how this came out. I just wish it didn't have like actual holes in it. So I'm gonna let this sit way longer than I would normally, um, maybe like for a whole week. So when I go seal it, I know for sure that the concrete is very strong and that there's not gonna be like any breakage or anything like that. I love the size of it. I wanna put some candles on top of it so you guys can see like how it would look like, but at the same time, I'm scared for those little details. Um, I don't know if you guys can see like closer. It's a very good size, I love it. And this is, this is the one that I did before, so it's very beige and it does have some little details here and there of the glitter, but that glitter comes off very easily. I don't know if I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I should make another one um, and just leave it here because I want to have at least like five or 10 of those trays because I think they're going to be pretty popular. I am opening now this small um, cylinder um, that's going to be like the small candle. having a little bit of trouble getting started with this. Um, I cut my finger one time really bad with the edge of a candle and now I'm like super scared to grab it by the edge. So I just tried to like do like this and flip it but since this one's so small, I don't have like anything to grab. But hey, this is how it looks like. I don't know if you can see like the metallic paint inside. The outside, this is just moisture. It's probably gonna go down but it's super cute. I love the size of it. I'm glad that I got it. And I'm probably going to be, I don't know if like six ounces fit in here. I'm going to have to test that out, but it's probably going to be like a smaller version of the big candles. So this would be cool. Like if I do like Valentine's day boxes where I put like one of the small candles and maybe like a sachet together in a box, or I don't know, for like any holiday, like Mother's day or Christmas or whatever it is. So that's what I'm thinking. And it can also be like a little side um, if someone wants to get like a jewelry box and a small candle kind of thing. So definitely something to think about for like specials um, whenever there's like a big thing happening.
So now it's the next day and I'm taking some soy wax and putting it in the wax melter. I'm going to make an ice vanilla woods candle. I put it at about 200 degrees and I'm just going to wait for it to uh, reach that point. And then I'm just going to take my candle, uh, my vessel, and put the wood wick in it. It's a little bit tricky to put it center in these vessels because sometimes the bottom is a little bit raised from the weight of the concrete on the mold. So I'm just taking my time making sure that it's right on the center. Then next I'm going to just cut the ends if I need to with this uh, cutter that I got from AliExpress and super cute. Now I'm going to pour my um, wax into the um, pitcher and then pouring my um, fragrance as well, which I did forget to uh, do that first. Then I waited for it to be 180 degrees and pour my fragrance in and I'm just going to mix it for about two minutes before um, pouring it into the candle jar. I like to pour a little bit lower, so I'm going to wait till it's about 150 Fahrenheit, and now I'm going to go in and pour it onto my vessel. I also made another one that is uh, coconut and acai, and I love this scent. I'm more of like a woody, um, very mellow kind of person when it comes to candles, but I know a lot of people do like the coconut smell. And this is how they look. Aren't they so beautiful? I love the colors of my whole collection. Now I'm just putting these dust covers. Um, I think I got them from Amazon or Etsy. I can't remember, but I would link them down below um i was looking into making these myself but um i didn't want to get like a a cricket or anything like that uh just for this so i decided to just buy them and now i'm pouring four more ice vanilla woods candles they are amazing they smell amazing and this one is actually one of my popular one of my most popular scents so i'm just uh pouring and then i also had to make some labels for these so i printed some out and I'm just going to put it on the vessels. I got this from online labels and I can show you how I do them another time. This is the next day. I actually lit up one of the candles that I made and then I'm printing more labels out for some of the things that I'm sending out. This one is the coconut and acai and I'm just going to take the heat gun and kind of take those bubbles away. Not every time do I get these bubbles but when I do it's very easy to fix them and I actually got one really bad one uh, because I pour it at about 170 Fahrenheit which is why I wait uh, a little bit longer. This tends to happen with this wax for some reason but it's super easy to fix so you just kind of um, use a heat gun to go over a couple of times. And now I'm just gonna take some photos just because um, it's sunny here today and um, usually during the winter we don't get many sunny days so I am just going to take full advantage of the sun and you're going to see in a second that it kind of went away and it became like super um just gray again <laughs> but I love the photos that um I that I got here and they're actually super nice I uploaded them to the website as well so uh, yeah I love how they turned out Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in my visa, anywhere you want to go, baby, you just let me know. 